in the global media network namaskar hello and welcome to this special interaction here at uh, indi global school leadership summit we have with us a very special guest who has uh, several accolades to her credit most importantly she is a lead pediatric intensivist apollo specialty cancer hospitals and she is also the director for apollo shine foundation please join me in welcoming dr Indira Jayakumar welcome ma'am thanks for joining us thank you sudhir uh, thanks for the invite happy to participate uh, in the third indi global uh, school summit it has been an eye opener i'm a doctor i take care of sick children cancer children stem cell transplant children in the icu and as a medical director of the apollo shine foundation in the last 9 years i've been interacting with teachers Uh, campus um, the educators so apollo shine foundation is a not for profit student health initiative across five different states 10 cities in india what we do is we have emergency preparedness we have first aid rooms with very qualified nurses who handle all sort of emergencies the walk ins we triage them into red green yellow we do awareness we do screening our uh, my aim though i treat sick children in the icu The aim of Apollo Shine Foundation is to not have children sick, not have children unwell to come into any hospital. Because what we have realized is the seeds of unhealthy lifestyle choices are sown very early in life. In our screening we have realized that obesity and overweight is actually quite rampant in school children, especially in the urban, about 23% and this metabolic so it's not only about bmi is a central obesity and that metabolic syndrome which we are seeing in school children is actually will lead later on to stroke will lead on to diabetes hypertension cancer and other non communicable diseases in adulthood so that is something that apollo shine foundation want, wants we want to work with the educators to you know create a stop we don't want to be the diabetic capital of the world we don't want our students to become to have ncds when they grow into adults so we want to teach students to have healthy choices and of course our you know um, first aid rooms will and the nurses will ensure that the children are safe in the campus so uh, what i've seen i'm happy to be part of this panel where we talked about well-being and happiness of students so it is nice to see that something that fell off by the wayside all these years is now coming back the pursuit of academic excellence is also going hand in hand with pursuit of happiness and holistic education of students and that is what i saw and you know heard from all the teachers and educators in this uh, summit so it is very i'm very happy and reassured and feel blessed that our children are going to have a very bright future because of so much brainstorming and thoughts going on to improve the education system and as you said this is a transformation a revolution a sea change that we are bringing into the education system of india and hats off to you sudhir for driving this sea change thank you very much dr indra those are the encouraging words but i should also point out at uh, the things you are trying to do a lot and uh, the eating habits the unhealthy habits are sown uh, at the very young age you must also be facing challenges in addressing that because food is something what children love and parents uh, feed them with lot of affection what are the challenges you face and how are you overcoming it so in my experience in apollo shine foundation what i realized that lot of people a i one extreme you have obesity and you know overweight where they're having lot of junk foods the swiggy zomato and working women moms it's not making things easier because the kids know that at a push of a button in their mobile phones they can get you know any sort of food so that is number one are the other extreme we have kids especially high school and college students who are actually starving they are you know uh, dieting you know, and they are not dieting in the proper way so they end up with gastritis and they end in our shine room with the nurses say complaining of stomach pain because they just don't have breakfast and they are not able to concentrate so this you know physical problem is actually impacting their academic performance as well so what we tell the school and what we tell the parents is it's don't say no junk food 
just choose your fast food and junk food wisely even if you want to have a pizza have a wheat crust pizza rather than a maida pizza then the institution i think we should all walk the talk the school students or the canteen also offer healthy food so if you are going to have samosas and only cakes in the canteen how are you going to tell the students that this is not right that you should have so there should be some fruits you know things healthier options as well so that they know that this is practiced in school and they have to follow that as well at home um you know making food healthy and tasty is also possible in at home and that is something that we encourage uh in one school where a lot of kids you know were feeling hungry there was some fainting during assembly we told the school could you give 10 minutes for the students to eat so give them because they bring the breakfast they don't have time to eat in the house so could you just give 10 minutes before you start the morning first day class to ensure that the kid has breakfast and i think that has made a big difference because if you are going to have a empty tummy you can't concentrate on your studies okay. and if you so it it all goes physical the mind body and soul have to be in sync for academic excellence and that is something educators have to understand wonderful dr uh, indra now let me know that the one which has started as a passion for you and which gives you a deep sense of satisfaction uh, you being a very serious and a well known uh, uh, specialist pediatric so how is it uh, this initiative apollo shine going to reach many more uh, campuses and many more educators and students so uh, well apollo shine was in a way like a baby to me because i went with this idea um, i was an, i am an emergency doctor and i was seeing children after families after road traffic accident they didn't have any insurance um and a couple of suicides because of exam stress in the icus attempted suicides so with there was also an incident in one of the schools where there was a near drow, uh, drowning and the school didn't know what to do there was another episode in some other uh, an asthma kid in another institution some in another city so i realized that the schools schools are ill prepared to handle emergencies they don't know they panic they don't know what to do and what not to do so with that idea in mind we started reaching out to teachers and training them for you know basic life support and first aid went to our chairman uh, our visionary pratap si reddy and he was so happy to you know put this concept of a student health initiative apollo shine is a not for profit student health initiative in the uh, apollo ecosystem where it only takes care of student and campus health and this has been a very satisfying journey it's grown we want to have like in the west where a school nurse it's mandatory for the school to have a school nurse and you know basic training even a crash the teachers and nurses have to be bls certified so we want to ensure that every school in our country has a nurse who takes care of the health uh, both physical and mental because many times it's not the counselor it is actually the akka or didi that they call Yeah. uh that the students go and open up to and also kids are all safe parents for parents it is a peace of you know they have peace of mind that even if something if the child has fever or vomiting there is the nurse this is um, who will take care and inform them give them the first aid and they don't have to rush from work because that can be very frightening for a uh, parent when the school says your child is unwell please come so as long as the child is safe in the first aid room and all protocols are being followed it is a big reassurance not only for the parent it is also reassurance for the management of the institutions because they know they are the child and student is well taken care of thank you dr indra you have been part of this summit and uh, what would be your takeaways and what do you have to say about india global media network i am so impressed this is one side i had not seen we were going to schools and colleges meeting uh, teachers but now i'm actually seeing the brainstorming that is going on to improve the education system of india i really hats off keep up the good work uh, sudhir and uh, i'm this should be a big revolution i want you to come to different cities ensure so that it percolates this kind of this uh, essence of uh, happiness health well being in students which has never been talked about should be you know uh, become the mantra 
uh, and the magic, the f magic word in every educational institution. We should not have sick, ill children. We should not have stressed students. We should not have suicides in students. All this can be avoided if we create an atmosphere of well-being in the campus where students spend most of their waking hours. And they always say, what teacher tells, I will follow. They don't listen much to the parents, but the, whatever the teacher or you know, school says, they are ready to follow. I think so school plays a great role and the Apollo Shine Foundation, like we have for health, your school is the, lays the foundation for their future um, overall personality and how productive citizens they uh, uh, you know, become. Thank you very much for joining us, Dr. Indira. That was Dr. Indira Jaikumar, who is the director for Apollo Shine Foundation, also a lead pediatric and also someone who takes care of uh, uh, treats cancer in the children. This is Sudhir Gautam, founder, CEO, and editor in chief with Indie Global Media Network. Thank you. Indie Global Media Network, taking innovation, collaboration, and growth to the forefront.